In the initial 24 hours of fasting, the body relies on stored glucose glycogen for energy. As glycogen stores diminish, blood sugar levels decrease, resulting in a drop in insulin. This transition phase can induce hunger, fatigue, irritability, or cognitive impairment. Within 24 to 48 hours, the body transitions into ketosis, shifting its primary energy source from glucose to fat. During ketosis, fat breakdown leads to the production of ketones, which serve as an alternative energy source. Human growth hormone, HGH, levels increase during ketosis, aiding in muscle maintenance. Autophagy, the body's cellular cleanup process, is activated during fasting. This process involves the breakdown and recycling of damaged or dysfunctional cells and cellular components. Autophagy contributes to cellular health and regeneration. From 48 to 72 hours of fasting, autophagy intensifies, potentially increasing longevity and reducing disease risk. Inflammation markers may decrease, while blood pressure and resting heart rate can drop during this fasting period. Stem cell regeneration may begin, particularly in the gut and immune system, during prolonged fasting. Fasting can induce dizziness and fatigue due to reduced energy intake and altered metabolic processes. Dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, particularly in sodium, potassium, and magnesium, are potential risks associated with fasting. Frequent or improperly executed fasts can lead to loss of lean muscle mass, impacting overall physical health and metabolic rate. Hydration is important during fasting. Water, herbal tea, and electrolyte. Enhanced beverages are recommended. Adding salt or minerals to beverages can help prevent electrolyte imbalances during a fast. Breaking a fast should be done gently with light, whole foods to avoid digestive distress.